I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Community Affairs and we're here today talking some more about the Queen Anne's County Fair which is com coming up August 10th through the 15th and I have Sally Rosenberry with me who's with the Queen Anne's County Extension Office mm -hmm. and um, she's going to tell us about the 4-H indoor exhibits which is one of my favorite things so welcome thank you so give us a little overview about the exhibits and who can enter Okay, the 4-H indoor department, that's my domain at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, your domain. My domain. <laughs> we have 24 different departments in there that the kids can enter. It's for the 4-H'ers only in that section. The Clovers, which are five to seven year olds, they can enter five of anything. Okay. But then you go to the juniors who are eight to 10, the intermediates who are 11 to 13, and the seniors who are 14 and up they can enter in any of those 24 departments okay. and one thing in each class so if they're really really into it they, they can have lots I'm sitting lots. here thinking in my <laughs> in my head probably a hundred different yes. things some of them actually I've seen that <laughs> really wow yeah Doesn't and then so um, well first off let's talk there's a fair book that's mm -hmm. out now yes and in here is a list of all the different um, departments right. and then the classes and when stuff has to be in mm -hmm. so um, give us a little overview about that part uh, when in case any of the 4-H'ers are listening and don't know when their stuff needs to be right. in <laughs> yeah the indoor uh, you can you can enter online and that can be done through August the 1st. Okay. And that is anything for indoor. And when I talk indoor, I'm talking anything from crafts and baking, photography, well-dressed table, which is place settings. Everybody always loves to go I down the line. I love that when I look at all of them. Because <laughs> they're so, the ideas are just unbelievable. Right. There's all the vegetables, the flowers, the electric, the woodworking. I mean, you name it, that's what's in my indoor. Okay. And uh, like I said, it's 24 departments. And they can do it online. And if they don't want to do it online, then they can do it in person on the Friday before fair from okay. 5 until 8. And then Saturday from 11 until 2 but they can't bring any non-perishable items in. All the baking, the vegetables, and the flowers, they all have to wait until Sunday. Until Sunday. And Sunday they can bring anything and everything, and that is from 12 until 4. Okay. And then um, the fair starts on Monday, mm -hmm. and Monday, I know that's when the judging... Well, right. sun, is it some of it? We, some of it, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, wait a minute. Some of it's Sunday, though. I think. Right. Yeah, we have so much that we do part of it on Sunday. We do our perishables definitely on Sunday evening, <laughs> <laughs> and then Monday uh, during the day we are doing all the other departments, and we usually try to get it finished and open by about four. Okay. On Monday afternoon. And then everybody can come in. And mm -hmm. what what do the kids get for? The kids get the ribbons placing one through four. Okay. And then they get money for the one through four placings. And they get each age division gets a champion, like a champion junior, right. intermediate, and senior. And of those three champions, then they pick one grand, grand champion, champion overall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And just how many average how many exhibits do you have like last year how many entries did you have we have been growing by leaps and bounds last year I had almost 1500 and that has nearly doubled over the past 10 years 1500 mm -hmm. that that says something though for the program in the county right. how you know how it's taken off that's yeah. that's crazy so I'm looking for help <laughs> yeah I was gonna say well and so let's talk about the yeah. judges um, mm -hmm. what do you need help wise as far as judging I usually have close to 60 judges, okay. all told, and it's in each department. Some judges will do double duty and do more than one thing. Um, others will come on Sunday and then come again on Monday. Okay. But the more I have, the better. The larger classes, like all my baking, I judge in pairs. There'll be right. two judges that will judge the junior <laughs> cakes, two will judge the intermediate cakes, and two will judge the senior cakes. Same thing with the cookies, mm -hmm. the arts, the crafts, all the biggie ones. Okay. We have, and I'm always looking for people. So if somebody wants to be a judge, they can contact you directly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll have, um, well, we'll have fair the fair information up there. But um, okay. if you want to tell everybody how they can get a hold of you, okay. We'll uh, they can call for me at the extension office, and it would be four one zero seven five eight zero one six six. Okay. And ask for Sally. 
and hopefully your phone's going to be ringing. Hopefully by the time yes. you get back to the office, you're going to have 10 messages already. Right. So you definitely come out and volunteer. And I know I've, I've done it the last couple years, and it's just to see what the kids do is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, and the clovers, the the thought and what the clovers yes. do for the young kids. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the old kids, I, older kids, I know last year there was a table. Um, I think that was last year that one of the older yeah. Um, 4-H'ers had made walking. yes and mm-hmm. it was unbelievable <clears throat> the craftsmanship on it yeah <laughs> so yeah they have some pretty outstanding works right and then um, so and the exhibits stay up all week yes they're up okay all week mm-hmm. and there's a cake auction cake auction is Monday night okay and that's just for the 4-H cakes it's the 4-H cakes the blue ribbon cakes okay and there are, I think, 17 different cake classes. Okay. So one holy person holy. could have a dozen or so cakes, but right. they can only take two to the auction. And then um, when their cake gets auctioned off, do they keep the money that, that... They get part of it, and the 4-H All-Stars get the other part awesome. that goes to their um, scholarship fund. So it comes back anyway. It comes back. Mm-hmm. So wonderful. Mm-hmm. So again, um, you know, come out anytime during the fair to see the, the kids' exhibits in the, un- it's indoors, it's air conditioned. Yes. So it's nice in there. <laughs> That's yep. always a popular it place. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in volunteering, please give Sally a call at the mm-hmm. Extension office and give us the number one more time. It's 410. 410- Seven five eight zero one six six. Okay. I'm also looking for people to help with not just the judging, but when all the entries come in, to and we sort them out and put them on the shelves and help when they're being judged with the judges and take the pieces of cake to the judge, right. put the ribbons on. Always need help for that too. So, so there are many many opportunities <laughs> to volunteer your help. <laughs> so. Come out and support the the local for it. This is a way to support the clubs. Yes. You know, be, by being a volunteer. Well, we appreciate you coming in, and I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite things yeah. is to go in and see the 4-H exhibits. So thank you so okay. much. You're quite welcome.